This is Pars Ronas presenting to you one of my recorded teachings taken from the Living Word Collection. Lord, help me to decrease in oneself that your wisdom and your power and strength may increase in me. That you, wonderful Father, may be glorified tonight. That through the powers of your living words, we may experience you as a living God. My brothers and sisters, tonight I would like to share with you what is written in the book of Acts. And let me ask you this question, and I know you know the answer. Who is the church? You and me. We are the church. The next question is, if we are the church, who are we? Don't give me the same answer, church. <laughs> I need another answer. <laughs> If we are the church, then who are we? The body of who? Please, specify Christ. Baka maging body of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> the body of Elizabeth Taylor. Mahirap na yan. <laughs> we are the body of Christ. And the body, you and me, are Christians whose Savior is who? Jesus. He is the Master. He is the Lord. And the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Mighty One of God. You and I are the body. Body that composed the church. And individually, we are called the church. That is why when people call you, Hello church! What would be your answer? I don't fry chicken. I don't fry chicken. I don't fry chicken. I don't fry Praise God for that. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you know, this is what it is all about. Christianity is happiness. Joy. What can they in church? Fry chicken. <laughs> Fact, naalala ko minsan yung ibang ibang kapatid natin na gustong umatin ng inauguration sa St. Francis. Hinahanap yung St. Francis Church. Hindi nila makita-kita. Guess what? Sa saan sila napunta? Sa church fried chicken. <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> you see, individually we are called the church and when somebody calls you, Hello church, you answer him, You too church, Hello! And you know what God said in the book of 1 Corinthians? Listen to this. Now you are Christ's body and individually members of it. You can find that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27. God himself is telling us, you are Christ's body. What an honor. What a joy in our hearts. Imagine I'm the body. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. We are the temples of the Holy Spirit, isn't it? And in the book of Ephesians, it is also written, and we are members, listen to this, we are members of one another. Do you know what it means to be a member of one another? Look at your neighbor, come on. Just look at your neighbor. Probably you don't realize you are a member of that person you're looking at. You are a part of that person. You see the beauty of this? Being a Christian, to be a church, to be the body of our Lord and Jesus Christ, praise God, He is the head of the body. Kapesa. 
And we know very well the head is the one that directs the entire body. Isn't it? Nakakita mo ba kayo ng paa na dinidirect ng utak? Nakakita na ko ba kayo ng, ng kamay na sinasabi doon sa katawan? Kamay, kamay, kamay. Paa, paa, paa. No. And it is written to make it simple and exact. God said in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 18, He said, He is also the head of the body who is the church. My brothers and sisters, do you honestly believe you are the church? Is there anyone here who is in doubt of that? Are we really the church? Alright. Of course. Oh nga pala. Thank you. Baka ho naman nag-iisip tayo ng church na may building. That's the church building. We are the church body of Christ. Okay? I want that very, very clear. If we, if we believe that we are the church, then, with what we just read, the Lord tells us the characteristics of a real church. And the number one characteristic of a real church is a church that wants to learn. You and I, my brothers and sisters, are a learning church. You're coming here every Tuesday by going to Mass if you're a Catholic and if you're not, by going to your service. And by the way, if there is Oh, there are brothers and sisters here who belong to another denomination. Don't you worry. If you are a Protestant, we will make you a better Protestant. Do you follow what I'm driving at? We will never proselyte. Never. If you are a Catholic, we will make you a better Catholic. How is that? We remain in our faith. Amen? Oh, thank you God. Speaking of ecumenism, <laughs> that is real ecumenism. I believe that a learning church is one who is persistent in listening to the teachings of God's Word. As we go to Mass, we listen to the readings of the Gospels. As we go to Mass, we listen to the homily very attentively. Everything focus on the priests. That is where we get the teachings and the learning. Ang problema, mga kapatid, it will be a great peril, a great disappointment, a great downfall of any church or any Christian. Instead of looking forward, they want to look backward. Meaning, there are people who does not want to learn just satisfied with what they have. There's nothing wrong with the past. There's nothing wrong. It's alright to visit the past. But please, do not establish your residency in the past. Naulitin ko po sa Ilocano. My indulgence, but later on I will translate. Okay? Okay lang ho na bumisita sa nakaraan. The past. Alam ko, Tagalog yun. Ay, hindi Tagalog. Hindi ako marunong ilukhan nun. Ang tatay ko ilukhan nun, pero ako hindi. Pinadala nga ako ng tatay ko sa ilusa, kapala ho nyo, ng isang buwan. Ang natutunan ko lang, puro masasamang salita. Yun lang ay tinuro sa akin doon. Well, anyway, it's all right to visit the past. But please, do not establish your residency in the past. We have to move forward 
and establish our residency in the future or in the now. It's so hard to live in the past. Marami pong taong walang magawa misa kung hindi nire-rewind yung kanilang memory tapos ipi-play back. Tandang-tanda ko pa. Kahapon lamang. No, we, we, we cannot. We have to move forward in the same way every time we listen to the Word of God, every time we listen to the teachings of God, we must have that attitude to move forward because if we have that attitude, then we will grasp the teaching, we will receive the teaching, and we will be prepared to move forward. My brothers and my sisters, through His Word, I believe the Word of God we can go forward and it will surely be a wasted day. Listen to this. It will be a wasted day when we do not learn something from His words. That is why every time we gather here every Tuesday, you think you're the only one learning from His word? No, 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 no. I'm also learning because I am doing the research. I am doing the study day in and day out. Sometimes, I sleep 1 o'clock. I wake up at 5 o'clock. <coughs> and I read and I study. And it gives me much, much, much joy in my heart to be able to establish. <laughs> kaya misan po, pag ikaw nga, dadalawa lang kami ng misis ko sa bahay. Kaya tahimik na tahimik. Pero misan, pinapagalitan din ako ni Lord. Anak, may asawa ka rin. siya sa'yo, huwag mo naman siyang kakalimutan. Kalapitin mo naman. Yeah! Si Lord naman, promotor. <laughs> you know, if you have this kind of relationship with a God like this, He becomes a personal God. He becomes so very close to you na hindi ka na jahi. Hindi ka na shaming. You know, you become open. Even with little caprichos, you become open. That is why through His Word, I know we can go forward and every day of our lives, if only we will learn something from His Word, it will be a fulfilled day for all of us. It will be a very challenging day for all of us because His words, through His powerful words, we can penetrate more deeply.